Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm standing in water today at the dock with this nice engine here. So what we're going to do today is remove the hub on this Mercury 90 command thrust engine. And it's a flow torque 2 hub. And I'm replacing, I'm replacing with a flow, flow torque SSR, which is the most recent engineered hub. And that hub is to prevent prop chatter where you're, you're backing up in slow speeds and your prop kind of makes a noise. And, and it also is designed that when, to prevent the knock when you go uh, forward or reverse on your engine, you get that gear knock. Uh, and that's designed to prevent that gear knock. So this is why I'm doing it, because I had a lot of prop chatter and reverse and forward. And if you're doing trolling on your boat and trying to troll at, at idle, and this thing idles at 700 RPMs, uh, and, the, and the props chattering, I'm sure the fish aren't going to like it. So it just annoys me listening to it. So well, that's it. So let's go and do that installation. I'm JD. Welcome to my channel. We're going to replace a prop hub. Um, so with the uh, Flow Torque SSR, which replaces the 1, 2, and or the 3 for this particular Mercury prop. So down here we have some tools. Over here we've got the torque wrench for removing the, uh, the old nut. And I use this here to tuck out the tabs. And then we've got this if you need to, to quicken up the process of removing that nut. Mallet, if I have to bang that down, I'm not sure yet. The belt, bang the hub into the, into the prop screwdriver I use also to deal with the tabs. And this one a little bit. This one is for snugging the tabs back up to the nut once you're finished. I got some marine grease. This is 2,4C mercury grease. I'm going to use that on the shaft after I put the take the old one off and put the new one in place. And you don't do, need this. You don't need this, but you do need the uh, mercury. This is the mercury flow torque hub assembly kit, and this again is the SSR hub. So this is the newest and best hub. Okay, so what we're doing here is there's these small tabs that I've already pounded back, and they just hold the nut in place so when you reverse the motor like excessively reverse the motor then the nut doesn't come off and you don't lose your prop so i've already smashed these things down the small tabs and so what i needed to do which i've already done to tell you the truth is you brace a piece of wood in the back here against the blade and then you take your your torque wrench or whatever you got and you reverse the uh the nut off so right now it's kind of loose and this is a big torque wrench this is, ends up being set to uh 100 pound feet and right now it's the new one set to is set to uh, 110 pound feet and the old one was 55 pound feet so i brought another another ratchet here so i don't have to spend a week rotating this massive torque wrench to get this off so press the button on the top here and it goes in faster yeah dummy so so here it's in it's in the uh, tightening mode so i just want to loosen this off so and these nuts also have a plastic ring on the inside which torques them on a bit so you still have to torque it off like that so you just loosen that and the fastest way to do this once you've got it loose is just to rotate the prop like that and that'll take that nut off so you just turn it like this until the nut comes all the way off it's almost off right now i can tell uh, let me see if it's to the end here yet yeah it's to the end so now you can just take it off by hand if you're going to reuse this you actually don't want this to fall in the water right so i take that off and then i need to take off the tab so this tab is right here that's a locking tab right here if you have a close close look at that it's got these things here which which hook on the two knobs on on the hub here and then they've got the uh, these tabs that fold over to keep the nut in place so that's the locking tab and then i should be able to pull the unit right off but i can pull the inside hub part off first this is the old hub which is i believe a flow torque 2 right and then i pull this off like that and there you go and there's the prop i gotta pound this out after to put the new one in so it's it's well seated in here so you end up pounding it on this side to actually remove it so you can put the new one in place and then the, i've got this washer here on the end and that has to come off too so so that's the removal of it and then you can examine the actual shaft here for a fishing line and any wear or anything that's wrong with this okay so look inside the edge for fishing line because that's going to be re-greased and now i've got to get a towel to clean the old grease off this before i apply the new hub now, as i was saying before you got to examine this uh shaft here and you look right in there and see if there's any fishing line because that will kill the seal on this if you have fishing line in there 
and then I actually clean this off with the old grease on here and then I got to apply the new grease as I had said before. All right, so now we're just going to clean the shaft up with paper towel and make sure the old grease is all off it and clean around the edge here where that thrust washer goes. That's the, the, the washer looks like it's brass in the front and I'll reapply the grease. Before I reapply the grease, I'm just going to test fit the new one. That way it doesn't get sloppy. If I've got any issues and it doesn't work, I will put the old one back on. Hopefully I don't have to do that, but, but uh, that's it. So we'll, we'll come back in a sec. All right, so you got your old prop here. It's got the uh, flow torque 2 in there and it's pounded down. And so you turn that around like so, like this. And you've got the edge there. You take the shaft here. You know how it fits like this straight in. You just lift it up and do a quarter of a turn. And then just take a rubber mallet, pound it down, and that should pop that up. Let's see if it does it. It's all good. There's the old one. finish doing that take your old one and put it back into the uh, case so you don't lose any of the pieces in case for some reason the other one doesn't fit and you need to reinstall the other one on the boat I got the fisherman over there talking away I gotta tell him to shut up. <laughs> that's good all right so here's the new system here now this goes goes in like this and you just find home like that and I believe there's no instructions on this but I believe you have, this has to be flush as well so you can take your old a torque washer and just bang that down. See if that, yeah, that works. So that has to be flush. And that's pretty good there, I hope. Um, let me tap it with a hammer just to make sure I don't have any too much give in it. Yeah, I think that's as far as we'll go. And then what you're doing then is this will get installed and hopefully this goes flush as well. So I turn that around and it looks like it's pretty much flush. Just pound it down this way just a bit. There we go. And then the torque washer goes on like this on the end and then you tighten the whole darn thing up. So I think it might snug in after I tighten it all up. So time to get back in the water to finish the job. I don't want to get that wet. So I got to lube up the shaft. I think hitting it down, it has to snug in like that, but when you torque it, it snugs it even more, right? Where did he go? He's uh, disappeared. He here, here, here. There he is. Ta-da! Alright, so what I'm going to do now is dry fit this before I grease up the shaft. So I want to put my torque nut in first. Like that, or my thrust washer, actually. It's not a torque nut. It's a thrust washer. A thrust washer. Say that three times fast. I've already, you already saw me put this guy in like that so this would go you get it the right way onto the uh, shaft like this right look at that spinning away so it's spinning away because there's nothing holding it in place and then so there's that and then I have to get this eight-sided one now the other one was two-sided so this gives you much more grip I think when they redesign this and you put this in so just play with it for a second see if it fits there we go it fits almost perfectly and then all I do then is I put the nut and the tab in and then I've got myself uh, a brand new flow torque SSR hub on there see how that fits nicely but I put the nut on first so or the torque the lock washer on and I line up the tabs with the small tabs in here and then torque it up and it's got to be torqued up to, to 100 so let's uh, cut for a second and go grease this shaft Oh, big so wave when you're doing coming. work in the water, the worst thing that can happen to you is a boater comes by and creates a giant wave just when you're trying to do torque up your prop and the wave hits you and bounces you off, you hit your head and then you drown. Okay, so here's the giant wave that came. Um, thank you very much boater. I should have sent a memo out to stop all boating on this lake this week. And now I'm going to grease up the shaft here. There's still more stuff coming, but there's really no water hitting this. Well, a little bit, so make sure it's dried up perfectly, right? I got a little bit of water came in from that crazy wave that just came through. So Tsunami. I'm going to take off the uh, washer anyway, and I'll 
get some do some stuff on that in a second but so what I want to do is grease up the shaft I bought this stuff so I'm gonna get ugly with my fingers I take this grease off and this is 2,4-C and it's mercury grease so if you need to get all ugly here this is the stuff to do it with right so I watched a bunch of videos on guys doing this um, and it gets pretty messy thus the paper towel will be of great use when I uh, finish this job so what I'll do here is I'm gonna put some on my finger here and you can liberally apply this grease so I want to make sure this grease is all through the shaft and right where the seal is too and there's no there's no such thing as too little grease on these shafts and this grease will prevent corrosion on the shaft it'll also you know provide a smooth when I torque that nut up it's going to torque to the right uh, 100 foot pounds is what the note said on the on this particular shaft or this particular hub so I'm just going to grease this up and then I'll be back in a second after I'm finished all right so we got our thrust washer here we got to make sure this is put in with the smaller side of it facing up or outward and then put that in oh that feels so good that's pretty pretty lubed up i'd say now i'm going to grab the prop here right and i've already prepped it i did some prop prep before and so that should just fit on nicely and there's a clean sleeve on the first inside part so that fits on perfectly as you can see i want to make sure it's in the right direction <laughs> so then i put this, uh, I'll call it the thingamajabi doohickey for all you watchmakers out there. And I know like a lot, a lot of watchmakers, because that's what I pretty much do is watch repair. Um, but I've got to put this in now and see if I can fit this in, which is a little tricky, I think. I just have to play with it until it fits, I guess. All right, something, something's, something's in the way. Come on, get in there. Oh, there we go. Now it's down, so that's all in place there. So now I want to get the nut, the lock washer first. That's this thing here. And that lock washer's got these little indents here, or half circles, and that lines up with the tabs here. And this one here, a little bend in, but it doesn't matter. So, so that's like that. And now I want to put the nut on, and torque that down to 100. So the first thing I'm going to do though for the nut is I'm going to use the non-torque wrench, which is going to cause me a little less pain. So I'm going to put the nut in like this, and then and spin that on, and I just have to do it the same way I did it before. Now i got to make sure my lock washer is in place, and it kind of went out of place for a second. So just play with that until you get both tabs of the lock washer in place. I'm going to back this up a little bit because I want it to float out. So there we go. Now it's back in again. And you can pretty fundamentally hold that down while you're doing this. But this is the same as last time, except this time I can spin the prop the other way. I make sure it's in Titan mode here, like that. And I can spin the spin the prop on just a bit like this until I until it gets into this position. And I'm looking at my lock washer again, and that's that's in there nicely. So just tighten that up. Some people tighten this by hand, but it does say 100 foot pounds to tighten this up so we do that and let me see am I still good yeah the lock washer is still in place I'm going to get that lock washer to the base of the or the nut rather to the base of the lock washer and there it's in there now so that's that's in there nice and tight but now I have to torque it so to torque it I've got this really big ass torque wrench so I got to put that in the torque position like this and then put this on. I've already set this for 100 newton or 100 foot pounds right here. So it's a nice torque wrench and set the 100 foot pounds. And so I need a block of wood to torque it. So you take the block of wood again and you put it inside your prop like that. And that should hold it in place as I torque this. And oh, let's see what I can do. And begin the torquing. Begin the torquing. So this is a nice torque wrench because you don't have to put too much pressure to torque it down because it's basically, yeah, it's, man, that feels pretty tight. I'm almost reluctant to do 100 because it, the torque wrench should snap when it's at 100. I always get wood that floats. <laughs> Or else you're in big trouble. 
Once again, wood that floats. I think most wood floats. <laughs> My wife there confirming that most wood floats. This is torqued to, this is set to 100, but that's a lot of foot pounds, folks. Oh, there we go. That's the sound of the torque wrench at 100. And now that's done. That's at 100. And then what I want to do here, take the, put the torque wrench aside. Now I've got to take those tabs and move them over. So I, I use this here to start off and a hammer. So I grab an MC hammer over here on the dock like that. And I just have to tap inside. This little wrench I got, I think I got it with a boat kit. And all I need to do is put it underneath the tab on this side and start tapping and that'll start bending the tab up like that bend it up on this side and then bend it up on the other side and i was told i watched a video on installation of these these uh, flow torque uh, ssr hubs and they said it will have play back and forth and it's, best, it's engineered that way so i'm going to believe them okay most people wouldn't i'm going to believe them so i'm just turning that tab thing around the other way up again and then I'm gonna do the wrench in a second okay that's what I'm gonna do all right I think it's wrench ready so that's this little unit here if you look at that really closely you'll see it's got a little bevel in it but you can use a screwdriver as well so don't worry about that and then you got to get yourself an adjustable wrench like this because you want to take the tabs on either side and you want to snug them up against the nut. Now I'm really lucky because at exactly 100 foot pounds, this nut was perfectly aligned. So this, it's almost like this, the torque was meant to align perfectly with that. Now that's like that. And, and I want to just do something like, okay. So a little close up on those tabs here. So there's the tabs here. So once I got them in, I just took that uh, wrench and I squeezed them in. And this prevents the nut from rotating out. Um, so and it works really well. That's the way to do it. Uh, now the, the uh, this is in pretty good right now. So if I rotate that, it's pretty clean. It's spinning around nicely. Now it was said in another video that these are there'll be a little bit of play back and forth on these. That's fine, right? But it seems to be nice and snug in there. So that's pretty much how to install a uh, Flow Torque SSR from Mercury. Uh, hopefully Mercury appreciates this video. I don't think there's any other videos that are this comprehensive uh, showing this particular job. If you want to grease up the end here as well, that's fine, but probably not necessary. And you can see the, ta the tabs are in nicely here and they lined up perfectly square with the nut. Now I've been told that if it doesn't line up square, you take the nut off and you rotate this tab 90 degrees and you try again. So, so that's it. So thanks for watching my video. Thanks for watching my channel. This is, by the way, on a Mercury 90 command thrust engine.